Hi everyone, welcome to the University of Portsmouth and School of Computing. My name is Farzad and I'm the module coordinator for the module called Architecture and Creating System. In this short introduction video, I'm going to talk about the delivery of the module, the assessment, and some other important information that you need to know from day one. So please watch it carefully. This module has got two parts, computer and maths. Your final mark is coming from these two parts. In the computer part, we will discuss about the basics of computer. We we'll start from binary numbers. We will see how CPU works. And at the end, we will discuss the basics and fundamentals of operating systems. The other part is the maths with some uh, mathematics subjects are covered there. The computer part is delivered and handled by myself, and the maths part is delivered by Professor Shamsh. You've got some assessment in each part. I get 30% of your mark from Professor Shaoji and you get something from the computer part. I put them together and it will make your final mark. So I'm sure that the, your personal tutor or uh, the course leader will talk about the Moodle. Moodle is a platform that all the information that you need for your studies about all the modules are available there. This module has got two parts. And because of that, for sake of simplicity for you, we created two Moodle pages. So one of them is called Architecture and Operating System, which is about the computer part. The other one, Architecture and Operating System Maths, is about the maths part. So you need to look at both pages. I'll just quickly show you how they are. This is, no, not this one. This is the uh, computer part, as you see, operating system, operating system. All the information, for example, you are watching this video through this link, Moodle and uh, the uh, slides, teaching plan, and some other information. And on week by week, as you see here, are released the materials here. The same story for the maths. This is the maths board. All the information, all the resources that you need are available on this page. So don't forget, for the maths part, you need to refer to the maths module page. For the computer, refer to uh, computer module page. From now on, I'll just focus on the computer part because Professor Zhaoji will talk about the maths part separately. From now, only the focus is about the computer. Teaching plan, if you want to know what's going to happen in this module week by week, I've created this table for you called teaching plan. As you can see for each week, what sort of stuff and topics will be covered. For example, in week one, we've got that. In week four, we've got this. On the week commencing 8th of November, it's consolidation week. There is no lecture and practical session. When is the Christmas break? When is the exam? And all the information that you need to know about the uh, topics or in this table. It's, I think it's quite useful and you can see um, where we are starting from and when we get to. So this is about the Moodle page. Sorry, about the teaching. Next one, assessment. I'm sure that you want to know what are the assessments for this module? Again, for the computer. As I said, 70% of your mark is from the computer. For this 70%, you have two assessments. One of them is a computer-based test, CBT, which will take place in January 2022. And the weightening is 30%. So it covers all the materials from week one, Till we 12, first teaching block, you have a computer-based test. It's an hour computer-based test. Final exam is will be in May or June. You will be notified about the exact dates. It's a final exam and it covers the second teaching block and the weight is 40%. 
you get something from the first assessment, you get something from your final exam, your 70% of your mark is coming from these two computer-based tests. What are they? I will provide you with mark tests. So definitely you will see questions similar in terms of the format of the meet or the CBT in the January or in the final exam. So don't worry about that. All the materials, materials will be provided week by week for you. Postmark, 40%. 40% of the total mark. I mean that 70% is coming from computer side. 30% is coming from the maths. I put them together. If you get above 40%, you will pass. Less than that, fail. So 40% of both parts, not individual assessment. In this module, we've got two important um, sections. One of them are lectures and the other one practicals. Lectures this year, because of COVID, all the lectures are pre-recorded. I will record the lectures for you, videos, and I'll put it on the Moodle page week by week. So you can watch the lecture number of the times. And also the slides, worksheet, and textbook that you need to know for the lectures, all of them are available on the Moodle page. So we don't have any face-to-face -face lecture, no face-to-face -face lecture. All the lectures are recorded and available on the Moodle page. But we've got practicals, one hour per week, which you have been timetabled for. You need to come to the lab with computers, it's about one hour, and I'll provide you with some questions, some activities that you need to know. There are some guidelines for the practical session, but clicking on that, you will see. What I've mentioned in these guidelines is that, please read them carefully, that what you need to do, you need to watch the videos definitely prior to the practical session. My assumption, is that when you come to the lecture, you come to the practical session, you have already watched the videos. So you know this stuff. When you come there, there are practice sheets for you every week. So member of the staff are there and we, can, we will help you with the parts that you didn't understand. You need help. So in the practical sessions, it's opportunity for you to come and ask your questions and do exercises. We can go through the material step-by-step step again in the practical session if you need help. And I do recommend you to attend all of them because maybe I get a good question in the practical session and I explain that to the whole cohort. So don't forget, you need to attend the practical session, the timetable practical session. Every. So you've got the lectures. There are practical sessions that myself and my colleague will be there to help you. Also, Every other week or every couple of weeks, we've got an online drop-in session. It's time to bet using Google Meet or Zoom. We've got drop-in. If you have more questions, if you need to talk to us more and ask question again, anything, any issue, any problem regarding this module, you can uh, attend the drop-in session and ask for questions. So lectures are there, practical sessions are there, drop-ins are there. Also, we have more support for you if you needed help. Academic tutors, which you can find their Moodle page. I'll show you. Oh, it was there. I'll show you the photo, I think. There, is a, there you go. This is the academic tutors. And these are the, uh, these people uh, are the tutors in the faculty that help you. For example, Shah, Dr. Shah, helps you with stuff that we have in this module mainly. So please go to this. Moodle, Moodle page and see how you can book one-to-one -one session with them. Also, there is a video there, if you click on that, that she will explain you how you can get more support. So, I again summarize, oops, I summarize here that you have lectures, practical sessions, drop-ins, 
you can book one-to-one -one session with the tutors to ask your questions, to make sure that you have understood the materials. And the last one is about attendance. Experience says that those students who attend practical session, drop-ins, and um, if they needed help, uh, book one-to-one -one session with the tutor, they will get a better mark. So it's very important for you guys to attend all the timetable session, whether online or on campus. Teaching team, myself and my colleague Manny. So in the practical session, you will see definitely both of us and also uh, some other PhD students that I will introduce at the beginning of each session. If you have more questions, what to do? We've got forum. We've got forum. I'll show you here. For example, let me go to there. You go. Ask your questions. Or call it ask your questions. The forums. You can click on that. Put your questions there, and I'll reply to that. So if you have a question which is quite general and everyone would benefit from that, ask your questions there. In that case, everyone can see my response to your question, issue, whatever. Also, if you wanted to contact me, here is my email address. You can find it on the Moodle page. More or less, uh, I'll explain everything. And good luck, everyone. Uh, looking forward to seeing you all in the first week. And uh, I hope that you enjoy your studying at University of Portsmouth. Thank you very much.